Hey everyone, I'm going to fix a crack in my tank. It's uh, on the plastic rim. Uh, you can see there. I have sanded it, sanded it down all the way around. It goes all the way through. I've got this epoxy here that I'm going to use on that. I've got some popsicle sticks and I've cut them off where I can use them to, you know, spread epoxy. This kit comes with tubes, but I didn't want to use the tubes. I'm just going to mix it up on this piece of polyethylene plastic that I cut off my sump. Um, it won't stick to that, and I can just mix up what I need because I don't really need a lot. And once you're done with this tube, you just throw it away. So I'll, I'll save that and use it for some other time, and hopefully I can keep the, this uh, plastic weld. Uh, from freezing or something and uh, keep it good for another project. It says it works on ABS and PVC. I might have to try see how that works on a piece of PVC to glue it. What I've got is um, some alcohol, a piece of sandpaper, some rags. I'm going to I've prepped the area, I've sanded it, roughed it up, that's what it called for. Um, now I'm going to clean it and wipe it off with alcohol and let it dry. And then put some epoxy on and see how that goes. And uh, I've got to do the corners, both corners here and here. I've got a crack here and a crack here. And then these corners are kind of splitting out on all four of them so and what I'm going to do is epoxy it and I'm going to let it set for a full 24 hours before I do anything so I'm going to wipe it down and then I'll show you what I'm doing after that okay let me show you what I did I epoxied it uh, I sanded it all down I cleaned it with alcohol and let it dry. I mixed the two part epoxy and put it on there. Um, this epoxy is sandable. It says its strength is 3500 PSI. I don't know if I, I've got enough or if I'll have to have some support bracing or something on the top. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I got all the corners. Um, I didn't clamp anything together because it didn't appear that I needed to. Um, I've got the tank setting on a nice table that uh, holds it square and I thought that that would support it good enough. Something when you're working with this epoxy is you need well ventilated. Um, Plus the temperature outside is around 60 degrees today, so uh, that's important too to maintain a temperature. It says I can handle it in 15 minutes, but it won't fully cure for 24 hours. So I'm not even going to mess with it for 24 hours. Um, and depends on how cold it gets tonight. I might let it go longer. I don't know. But... Uh, if I think I need to add some more, I will, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay. Uh, here it is. It's been well over 24 hours later, and uh, it's fully cured. And uh, what I've done is um, I took and sanded this down with the piece of sandpaper and what I did was take a uh, a sharpie pen and kind of mark on there and then wipe it off with a paper towel while it was still kind of wet to kind of blend the color in. This is what it looked like before I colored it with the black pen. Um, everything seemed to cure okay and, and seems to be you know pretty strong um, 
let me tell you a little bit about the tank. Um, the tank didn't have any leaks in it at all. And the cracks up here were from, it was really cold, and I grabbed it to move the tank. And when I grabbed it, I, I broke it. Um, that's what the crack was from. It wasn't from holding water or anything like that. But this trim ring is important to your tank because it helps. This is a 55 gallon and this center support brace holds the pressure on this glass and stuff and uh, you, you can't remove that. And if uh, this looks like you know there's going to be a structural issue here which I don't think there is um, I'll cut some strips of like plexiglass full length about an inch wide and epoxy them in here and I'll do this over here right through here just inch strips and uh, here and of course here and what that would do would make this really strong uh, but I don't think I, it's a structural issue I think it was just because when I handled this it was really cold and it just it broke here and now these cracks were kind of here these four corners so but I think everything's going to be okay everything seemed to go I'm not going to camouflage everything if I really wanted to get um, rid of this right here I would just go get some uh, spray paint the fusion spray paint for plastic and just spray paint it all black but uh, I, it, it's not going to bother me having this one right here and the rest of them are this is the front of the tank so but uh, I thought I'd let you know how it turned out and uh, oh something else is it says to cure for 24 hours. Um, I'm going to let this set for another 24 hours before I put uh, water and fish in there because I, I don't want to take any chances that any of the chemical residue from the epoxy getting in my water or hurting my fish. So basically what I'm doing is doubling the time and I don't know if I should or not but I think it's just a precaution that I'm going to use. Okay. Good luck on your projects. Thank you.